What's going on guys? Welcome back to Black Tide TV, bringing you the best of all things gaming each and every day. Today we're back with a very short bonus video on The Elder Scrolls Online. This is the same character that we've been using from the beginning of the bonus videos here on the channel. I am going to make a playlist at some point where I'm going to put all the bonus videos in order, uh, even including different games and all kinds of stuff once we get into different games for bonus videos. But for now, that would just be The Elder Scrolls Online videos. So I'll make that playlist. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll also link it in the card in the top right corner so you guys can check out the full playlist. But this is the same character that we've been using for the all, all of the bonus videos so far. At some point, I will be making a new character to cover a different topic. But for today, we're just at the beginning of the Ebonheart Pact in uh, Stone Falls, if I can remember correctly. This is right outside Davin's Watch or Davin's Port. I don't. Even, I can't remember. I can never remember the towns in this game because it's just, it's just such a massive game, and I have so many different characters in different spots. So. I believe this is Stone Falls. I believe this is Davin's Watch. It's very early in the game. Very simple mission to be doing. If you do play the game, you've probably already completed this mission if you did choose the Ebonheart Pact. If you don't play the game, well, I guess it's not really, it doesn't really matter. The commentary that I wanted to cover today is game file sizes and how massive games are getting comparative to how little hard drive space we have on our place to, on my PlayStation 4 for instance or on an Xbox One if you're an Xbox player. So there was an enormous update for Elder Scrolls Online. When I put Elder Scrolls Online back into my system before I started making these bonus videos, I was like, all right, just throw this in here. It shouldn't be like there'll probably be a little update, no big deal. Like I don't know, like five gigs or something like that shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be that much of a problem. I put in Elder Scrolls Online. Well, I don't know how long ago it would have been now, like two weeks ago now, and there was a 50 gigabyte update. I shit you not, 50 gigabytes for an update. That isn't even the game file. Like the game file was already on my system, and it had to update an extra 50 gigabytes onto this game absolutely insane the game now is like it's at like 80 gigabytes on my hard drive that is absolutely ridiculous call of duty black ops 3 with three expansion packs on my hard disk right now is only at 70 gig gigabytes and this is 80 gigabytes and i don't have any dlc for this game i don't have nothing on this game if i got all the dlc for this game that's out as of right now my f whole hard drive would be dedicated to elder scrolls online now i know that's like a little i know that could be like some kind of scheme that Bethesda has in place like oh if you have if you're playing our games you're only playing our games because you're not going to have any space for anything else but it's it's just annoying because it's like a person like me I play a lot of different games and I want to cover a lot of different bonus videos and stuff on my channel but I can't because every time I'm like okay I want to make this video today oh I got to delete something that I already have on my hard drive so I can download something else so that I can play one game or something with it and get a get a gameplay and then so I can commentary over so I can put a commentary over it and then I go and I get a different game and then I have to put the other game back in and erase that like it's just so much work like why doesn't Sony play, PlayStation or Microsoft for Xbox start making systems with bigger hard drive spaces. I still have the original PlayStation 4 500 gigabytes. There is a 1 terabyte PlayStation 4 now but it's apparently really bad like it's with the new hard drive it's really slow it's it overheats a lot more easily and it's just annoying like they should they should sell like expansion kind of hard drives so you can put different games and stuff on like hard drives that work specifically with the PlayStation 4 or specifically with the Xbox one that you can just kind of plug into some kind of adapter on the PlayStation or the Xbox and it expands your hard drive space without having to go through the same task of replacing your hard drive or getting an external hard drive and plugging it in and unplugging it every time you want to use it. So that's what I want to talk about in this video. Just a little tiny commentary that it just irked me that I got on the game and it was like, oh, a 50 gigabyte update. Like, great. Guess I'm never going to play another game again. So I just wanted to talk about that in today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. Tell me what you think about hard drive spaces and the size of games, the size of games you're getting these days in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Burn them to ash. Fight well.